One of the, the biggest intellectuals in all of Europe was a doctor by the name of Dr. Pierre Barbeau. He was the president of the prestigious Paris Society of Surgeons. He was so interested in the shroud that he wrote an entire book on it called Do And because he, um, you know, had access to many medical things being, uh, you know, the president of this society, he, he could get a lot of dead cadavers and he could do a lot of experiments. So he begins, he begins experimenting with different crucifixion postures. He crucifies people through their palms. And you know what happens when he does that? The weight of the body makes the nail tear through the hand and the body just falls off. So you can't be crucified through the palm. Well, then he says, you know what? There's this, there's this thing called the death stop space in your wrist. And if you're crucified there and you did that with a cadaver, guess what? You're held up. Well, what do we see on the Shroud of Turin? Where is the nail wound? It's in the wrist. You know, according to the Gospels, right, Jesus was crucified in the hands. But the Greek word for hand, you know what it included? Anything from the top of the fingertips to the elbow. This is the biblical word for hand. Just like the biblical word for feet is anywhere from the foot up to the ankle. That is the biblical word for foot. So what's interesting is that every artistic depiction up until the 17th century, you know where it shows Jesus crucified? In the palm. The only thing prior to the 17th century that shows Jesus crucified with a nail anywhere other than the palm, you know what it was? The Shroud of Turin showing that he's crucified in the wrist. How would a 14th century forger know not to have thumbs as part of their forgery? So the other thing uh, Dr. Pierre Barbeau noticed is when he nailed in the desktop space in the wrist is he hits a nerve and the thumb snaps behind the hand, okay? So that's why on the shroud, you see four fingers but no thumbs because of this anatomical feature. How would they go against all the artistic conventions of those days that were before them? Did they know a nail would hit a nerve in the wrist that would cause the thumbs to snap behind the palms? The greatest doctors in the world were not aware of that until the 20th century.